Uh, it's that Dane guy again. Uh, in the real world of the Matrix, the humans only had debris left over from their war with the machines, which was all late 20th century technology. Uh, so when they built something like, like the ships, uh, they had to be electromagnetic hovercraft. But that's how it was described to me when I started. But they had to be made from spare parts, from leftover junk, from actually our time's technology. Uh, so, and not the, the actual time of, you know, whenever the late 21st century when uh, Neo is led to Morpheus. But... Uh, so my intent was to make the hovercraft powerful and reliable, but to have a propulsion system and a navigation system, really, uh, that was unfamiliar to us humans way back in uh, the you know, late 20th century. So I have a, I'm going to play the entire effect stem of the scene of the Nebuchadnezzar parking, and then I'm going to play several of the individual layers uh, going into that composite cell. So that's like the pulsing of the power plant itself, some kind of electrical, cyclical machine. And then this is the mechanical. layer is the metallic resonance which the idea was we're hearing as much the resonance of the old sewer pipes that they're navigating through from the power of the electromagnetic magnetic waves that the Nebuchadnezzar is generating as much as we're hearing the ship resonate itself. And then there are the electromagnetic propellers, uh, my favorite, which is the most fun layer to create, which had to have super electrical power. <laughs> and that's what the Nebuchadnezzar was made of.